Well, Alistair, the debate has been raging in the United States when it comes to freedom of speech and censorship, especially when it concerns the actions of big tech giants. And that debate has now surfaced in Austria after YouTube removed the video of a prominent politician. The politician in question is Herbert Kickel. He is the parliamentary speaker for the opposition Freedom Party, pictured here. The video in question was uploaded from his parliamentary speech on Wednesday. And as soon as it was removed by YouTube, the party themselves on Facebook said that this was an attack. They describe this as the next attack on parliamentary freedom of speech. They also confirmed that they have not been able to post videos for another week. So why exactly did YouTube take this action? Well, they said that in that speech, Herbert Kickel had violated their policies on COVID-19 medical misinformation. In that speech, Herbert Kickel had criticized the Austrian government for deciding to close schools. And he claimed without evidence that children were not at all at risk of spreading the virus. So what are the facts? Well, if you go onto YouTube's own website for their policies, you can see that they remove any claims of misinformation which contains content, which claims that any group or individual has immunity to the virus or can not transmit this. And in a further statement to Euronews, a spokesperson confirmed that they have clear policies in place that prohibits these type of videos, which contradict not only local health authorities, but also the World Health Organization. So what are the facts? What does the WHO say when it comes to children and transmitting the virus? Well, on their website, which you can go to as well at home, you can see that the WHO says that the role of transmission is still not yet fully understood. But importantly here, they say that children generally have milder symptoms and fewer symptoms, and that for that reason, cases within children of COVID-19 can often go unnoticed. So that are the facts that YouTube is citing, Alistair, when it decided to remove this video from their platform. Interestingly enough, though, Facebook have still not yet taken that down. Here at Euronews, we have reached out to them for a statement on this. But once again, you see the debate between freedom of speech and censorship rearing its head, especially when it comes to the spreading of false claims online.